And good morning, everyone. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I congratulate and also thank Ambassador Tibor Tot for organizing uh, today's colloquium uh, just before a uh, one-year anniversary of the great East Japan earthquake, tsunami, and the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. I wish to reiterate uh, Japan's deepest gratitude to all the countries and international organizations, as well as to all the peoples around the world who gave us courage and support after the triple uh, disaster. The CTBTO played an important role in the aftermath of the earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear power accident. We all know that the fundamental role of the CTBT verification regime is to detect nuclear testing. But we have also learned uh, that the verification regime is effective in our common response to disasters, such as in the case of the Great East Japan earthquake. Through the timely provision of concrete data on the concentration levels of radioactive materials and through its science-based predictions of the dispersion of the radiation plume, the CTBTO showed to the member states that the concentration levels of the radioactive materials were far below the levels that could cause harm to human health. Japan appreciates this contribution from the CTBTO and sincerely thanks the staff of the CTBTO for their dedicated work at that very difficult time. Moreover, Japan welcomes the fact that the CTBTO shared data uh, with the IAEA, the WMO, the WHO, and other international, international organizations, and thereby contributed to their work. In view of the proven usefulness of the CTBT verification regime for disasters through the, its atmospheric transportation modeling, the ATM, Japan made a voluntary contribution of 736,000 US dollars for the further development of the ATM, the atmospheric transportation modeling. We expect that this contribution will enhance the CTBTO's prediction and calculation capabilities. Needless to say, improved capabilities will lead to better detection of nuclear explosions. In addition, Japan will soon dispatch an ATM specialist as a consultant to support the Provisional Technical Secretariat. Ladies and gentlemen, Japan has consistently supported the early entry into force of the CTBT. The CTBT verification regime needs to be fully operational when the treaty enters into force. And in order to realize this, Japan has supported the enhancement of the verification regime as much as possible. One of our efforts in this respect is conducting the JICA global seismological training course every year. This year, Japan is also planning to hold a workshop on noble gas, which aims to improve observation techniques and data analysis techniques. In addition, the East Asia National Data Center workshop has been planned in cooperation with the United States as part of measures to improve the capacity building of national data centers staff and to strengthen cooperation amongst the uh, national, develop, uh, national data centers in the e East Asia region. Japan believes that these efforts will strengthen nuclear detection capability and will furthermore be beneficial for scientific and civil applications, including uh, tsunami and other hazard warning systems. In concluding on Monday, next Monday, March 12th at uh, 1300, the permanent mission of Japan will host a commemoration ceremony of the uh, first 
year of the, after the great East Japan earthquake. It will be at this building, the M building, uh, and it will be followed by a reception at the Japanese uh, uh, mission. And you are all invited to attend. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.